well and welcome my name is miss multi console and welcome back to sally face we just got the ingredients from the lady who makes the bologna sandwiches now we are in mrs packerton's classroom because she is the one who provides the meat so hopefully we are going to uncover some secrets about what is actually in the meat and the sandwiches itself because Sally and Larry and Ash and Todd all think something really weird is going on with the sandwiches. Maybe there is, maybe there isn't. Who knows? Let's search the desk. Damn, she keeps her desk drawer locked. It's okay, we have paper clips. <laughs> Do you remember how to pick the lock like I showed you? Yeah, but there's no keyhole. A combo lock? Shit, dude. How the hell are we going to get that thing open? Let me take a look at it. Okay. Oh boy. How am I meant to know this code? Like, I have honestly no idea how we're going to guess this, to be honest with you. Oh, it could be like, there could be a clue about it on the board or something, but I am terrible with maths. I'm so bad with maths. I don't know what it could be. Honestly, I have no idea how you work this out. I'm assuming it's something to do with the blackboard and numbers and maths, but I am not good at that kind of stuff. So I looked on a video because I cheated. <laughs> and why spend time trying to work it out when you can look on a video guide? <laughs> I mean, when it's something like this, anyway. Like, I don't mind puzzles, but when it's maths, oh boy, I just, I just don't want to. <laughs> so, I think we got the code. Oh, was that wrong? I thought it was that. Hold on a second. Oh, I know what I did wrong. Um, this last one is one. There we go. Got it open. Awesome. Thanks to YouTube. <laughs> nice one, dude. What's inside? Just a bunch of math papers and hold on. There's a hidden compartment. Dun, dun, dun. What are we going to find? Man, there's some freaky stuff in here. Okay. What is it? I'm not sure. Show me. Oh, God. What's going on here? Why would a teacher have stuff like this? It looks like some weird, like, ritual stuff or something. I don't know. Crystals? They're actually kind of cool. I wonder what Packerton uses the these for. I don't think you want to know, honestly. What is, th what is this? A bunch of papers with random notes and symbols scribbled on them. Looks like they're written in another language. I can't make sense of any of it. Interesting. And we got some, like, um, jars here. Little jars filled with what looks like spices. Maybe for cooking? for cooking skulls with <laughs> why does she have a bird skull in here that's kind of creepy it certainly is what about this little metal contraption here i think i'm going to look at that last actually because it almost looks like it maybe opens the little box thing that we had in the last episode you know that weird little puzzle box that we found and it was left behind by larry's dad i was thinking it has some connection to that but i'm not 100 percent sure let's see what this is it's a bible the book is really old but there isn't anything special about it all right so the important items gotta be this a strange metal object similar to jim's puzzle box exactly this could be important that's what i was thinking there's another one of these metal boxes like the shit what just happened is it happening again yeah i oh god creepiness has started it has begun oh god what's going on um let's see if we can decipher this is it backwards I'm not sure i don't quite understand what this says at all I see something bus. It just doesn't even make sense. I'm trying to like do it backwards, but I don't understand entirely what this says. Are the letters like in the wrong places? Maybe you need to rearrange the letters. I'm not even sure how you work this out. It's not even backwards, I don't think, because it doesn't make sense backwards. I honestly do not know what that means, but of course, if you know, let me know in the comments because I would love to decipher these because I find them really interesting. I have no idea what that said though. I wish I did. <laughs> Are you sure? You could just be dehydrated. You didn't eat anything for lunch either. It's done. Huh? It's already over. But never mind. Let's go check in with Todd and Ashley. Do you not find that weird like you're like hallucinating and stuff? <laughs> I don't know. Hey guys, we found some sketchy things in Packerton's desk. How are the tests coming? We're not getting any signs of harmful chemicals or bacteria. However, I think we can all agree there is something peculiar going on here. 
And why is that? Why do they think something peculiar is going on? Whatever it is, let's not mention this to Chug for now. The poor kid almost had a heart attack when they stopped serving meatloaf. He sure does love his food. <laughs> Yeah, Ash is right. Let's keep this under wraps until we know for sure what's going on. Sounds like a good idea. Well, I guess we know what we have to do now. Damn, I'm gonna miss the action again. I have to watch Ben until my parents get home. Maybe I can help out after that though. Ben, is that like her little brother or something? I don't really know. Later that day, dun dun dun, what's gonna happen? Only one way to find out. I'm excited to see what, like to see where this goes. It all seems very normal so far. Aside from the freaky stuff that we found in the teacher's desk, like it all just seems like a bunch of kids like over analyzing from what I can see. <laughs> I'll need a few minutes to get ready. That's cool, I have to take care of something first anyway. Okay, let's meet up in Todd's room once everybody's ready. Yes, perfect. Cool. Alrighty, let's see what we have to do now then. Oh, we're back in the apartments, awesome. So everybody's gotta get ready and then they are gonna meet in Todd's room. I'm gonna go exploring first and see if we can like talk to anybody or anything like that, that would be cool. Hey, Miss Rosenberg, what's up girl? <laughs> Oh, hello, dear Sally. You sound tired. Are you okay? Yes, yes, I'm quite fine. I was just a bit distracted by my thoughts. You know me. Okay, did you finish that book you were reading? I did. You seemed to be enjoying it. What's wrong? You didn't like the ending? Most story endings are a lie. We tell to ourselves to create a false sense of hope. <laughs> what? Okay, so guys, when we get to the end of this game, it's all a lie. It's not real. It's, it's just a lie. <laughs> just to give you hope. <laughs> what do you mean? There are no happy endings in real life, Sal. We all get the same terrible ending. Death. Oh, man. Miss Rosenberg, are you still, like, possessed or something? My god. Like, she's, she's right, but I don't like to think of it like that. Gosh. Why do you have to talk this way? You can't know that for sure, Rose, and even if that were true, doesn't that make life even more precious? Exactly, Sally. Exactly. It's our one chance to shine as brightly as we can before the long night claims us. I like Sally's perspective way more. <laughs> That's why I try to live the best life I can, just in case it's the only one I get. Not for you, my boy. Huh? Oh, never mind, child. I admire your optimistic view of life. It's something I had lost long ago, I'm afraid. I can see that. You really need some optimism in your in your life, lady. I just want to make her smile. <laughs> Take care of yourself, Sally. You too, Mrs. Rogersenberg. You too. And maybe you should invest in some better socks. Because those socks have seen better days. Are they even keeping your feet warm? Because it feels like you have half a sock right now. <laughs> For your birthday, Miss Rosenberg, I will buy you some brand new socks. <laughs> so I think you really need some. <laughs> okay, let's go into Mrs. Gibson. Oh, it's this lady. What do you want, Sal? Just wanted to see how you were doing. I may be old, but I can take care of myself. Thank you very much. <laughs> wow, I'm just showing some consideration. Why do you have to be so moody for? Gosh. All right, then. Well, let's go and see what's going on. Oh, oh, look. Mr. Addison is actually charging for tea now. <laughs> That's funny. Good evening, Sally. How are you on this fine day? Hello, Mr. Addison. I'm good. How are you? I'm swell, young sir. Okay, that's good. Do you like the new sign? I love it. Thanks to you and Larry, it almost feels like I have my own little tea house now. I do miss giving out my tea to tenants. Oh, so we made it. However, I simply couldn't afford to keep up with that. I'm glad you like it, and I think it's totally reasonable to charge for the tea. Everyone understands. You can't afford to make tea. Like, I really don't think tea is that expensive, but okay. <laughs> That's wonderful to hear. Okay, any new tenants? I'm afraid not, though we do have someone coming to look at a room next week, so hope is on the horizon, I suppose. Oh, maybe we'll get someone in the next episode. I'm sure your luck will improve soon, Terence, and if there's anything you ever need to help with, don't hesitate to ask. Aw, Sally's very kind. That's very kind of you, Sal. Thank you, I will keep that in mind. Despite appearances, Sally is actually pretty kind, I have to say. I don't think he's ever really done anything bad. Okay, nobody lives in this room. 
room. All right, here we go. Henry Fisher, Henry Fisher, Henry Fisher, junk, junk. Oh, hey, it's Sal Fisher. There's a letter for me. Oh, we have a, a letter? Hmm, no return address on it. That's weird. Oh, no, it's going to be a freaky letter. It's an empty envelope. What the heck? Okay, I was expecting something way worse than that, so that's not too bad. <laughs> Okay, let's go to the elevator and see if we can explore more floors. I'm going to re-explore the apartments like before we head to Todd's house because there might be some more like extra dialogue and more things for us to find. You never know since we are in a different episode there might be different things for us to find of course. The vending machine is still empty after all this time. My god. I wonder if Larry's mum's better. Let's go and check on Larry's mum. Oh, there's little flowers outside her door. Looks like Lisa got a bouquet of flowers from someone. There's a note. It says, get well soon. Wishing you the best, Henry. Isn't that our dad? I think it is, right? But I don't know. <laughs> okay, let's go in Larry's room. I don't know if he's actually in here or not. Nah, he's not in here right now. Okay, we'll go and check the... Not a good time for that. Okay, it's not a good time to go to the treehouse, apparently. But why? <laughs> it's always a good time to go to the treehouse, though. How dare you stop me? <laughs> I'm gonna go check the bathroom and stuff like that. I think Larry is in there, hun. Oh. Oh, Larry's in the bathroom. <laughs> Occupado, dude. It's occupied. Sorry, dude. Oh, hello. Oh, there's Lisa. I wasn't expecting to see her here. I thought you were ill. She's still... Well, she looks a bit better, I guess. Where's this sludge? Hiya, Sal. How are you today? I should be asking you that question. I'm okay. How have you been feeling? Didn't the doctor say to take it easy for a while? Oh, I'm just fine, sweetie. Don't you worry about me. Besides, we've got problems with the plumbing that needs my attention. Yeah, what is this green gunk? Mr. Addison has enough on his plate to worry about. I can't keep lying around all day. Is there anything we can help with at least? Dude, don't bother trying to talk sense to my mum. You know she's even more stubborn than me. <laughs> oh, hush, my little la bear. Oh, that's cute. Mum, don't call me that. <laughs> Embarrassed to the maximum. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you love it. <laughs> Anyways, I appreciate your offer, Sal, but I can handle a little plumbing work. It's really no problem. Plus, moving around some will do me some good too. If you say so, just don't push yourself too hard, okay? And if you need any help, let us know. You got it, bud. Thanks, Sal. Alrighty, let's see what else we can do. Let's go explore some more of these rooms and stuff see if we can find some more people to talk to i like conversing with people in this game you never know what wacky things you are going to bump into on a game like this it's such a weird game to play all right to the next floor we go david's place oh we can actually go into david's house wait a second don't tell me that's David's wife, that doll. Is it like not real? He said he had a woman called Sarah or something. Hey Sally Face, what yin's up to today? Hey David, not much, just got home from school. Ah, I thought yous were on a break. The college students are on a break right now, but our break doesn't start until the end of the month. Oh, gotcha. How have you and Sarah been? Do you know, just a couple of love spotsies as happy as can be, right babe? That's her, isn't it? Oh my god, it's the doll, it really is. That's so weird. <laughs> Does Sally not find that a little disturbing? <laughs> oh hun, don't make me blush in front of our friend. <laughs> love yins too, babe. Oh, what's that? <laughs> Yeah, Sal, we've been having some trouble sleeping anymore. Do you know, it's funny, but I think it's because those college kids are on a break. It's actually really hard to read what he's trying to say. <laughs> I know what he's trying to say, but it's like hard to read. <laughs> I guess we kind of got used to the noise they make. Well, they only have a couple more days of break, so everything should be back to normal soon. That's great news. Great news indeed, Sally. Awesome. Can I talk to Sarah? I can't talk to Sarah. I don't... Sally doesn't have the imagination of David, unfortunately. Oh, I can't interact with anything in this, like, room, I suppose. I guess that was it. All right, well, we got a little bit of insight into Crazy David, so... <laughs> I mean, that's cool. Like, Crazy Dave! Blah, 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 blah. 
<laughs> the guy from Plants vs. Zombies. Have you seen that guy? He's awesome. <laughs> I love that guy, it's what he reminds me of. Hello Chug, how's it going? What's wrong? Is there something wrong with him? I keep hearing creepy noises. Like, what kind of noises? You know, creepy kinds, like scratching and moaning and stuff. Okay, maybe it's just some mice in the walls or the building creaking. It's an old building. Mice? That's not any better. I bet it's nothing. You wanna hang out with me and the other guys? No, no, it's okay. Thanks though. I can tell you guys are up to something again. Last time I came with, I couldn't sleep for a week. <laughs> I don't blame Chug. I don't think I would want to either. <laughs> Although I would be curious. Oh yeah, I was supposed to tell you. Megan said she's sorry for scaring you. She is very sweet once you get to know her, but you kind of bolted right when she came out. I know, I mean, I bet she's nice. I tried, but it's just too scary. <laughs> Well, if you don't want to be alone, you're always welcome to hang out with us. I know. Thanks, Sally Face. Okay, so we have a few questions we can ask. Why are you standing here? I'm waiting for my parents to get home. They should have been back already. He seems to be alone quite a lot, the poor little dude. Is there anything I can do? Got any chocolate? Chocolate always makes me feel better. <laughs> no, sorry. I don't have any. Unfortunately, that vending machine is taken so long to restock, which sucks. Okay, the door just opened and nobody came to answer it. That was really weird. Hello, is anyone home? Ha, huh, I could have sworn someone lived here. The door opened on its own, like what's going on? That's so weird. Is there a ghost in here or something? Hello? Hello? Okay, nothing's going to show itself, thankfully. Wait, do I have the camera still? I wonder. No, I don't. I was like thinking maybe I could like take a picture. Like sometimes when you take pictures you can see ghosts but you can't see it with like the naked eye but no, there's nothing there. Oh, the screen went really weird when I went through that door. Did you see that or is it just me? It like went really weird. It like goes to the side. Why does it do that? That is really strange. I've never seen it like go through doors in that manner before. Very weird, very weird. Maybe I'm in another dimension. <laughs> I have no idea. All right, let's go to the fourth floor and see what's going on here. Um, this is my house. I wonder if Gizmo's still there. No, Gizmo's moved this time. I wonder where Gizmo's gone. Oh, oh God. I uh, was not expecting that. <laughs> they kind of made me jump a little because I just wasn't expecting the camera to move that quickly. <laughs> I didn't know what was happening. Oops, sorry Gizmo, I didn't realise you were in here. Is this cat like a human or something? Like, what is up with that cat? <laughs> That's so weird, we've got a note here. Sal, I had to go back into work again tonight. I'll be home late. There are some leftovers in the fridge if you don't eat with Lisa and Larry. I'm sorry I haven't been available much lately. Maybe we can go do something this weekend, love dad. Ah, that kind of sucks, but... I mean, that's understandable, I suppose. I mean, he's now a single parent and has to raise Sal on his own. So I guess that is to be expected, I suppose. I'm sure raising children is very hard work and very expensive. We got something under the bed. Let's see what this is. There's something under the bed. What is it? It looks colourful. Like a note or something? It's, it's an old photo of mum. I thought dad threw them all away. Hi mum, I miss you. I hope you're at peace. Aww, Sal. There's a handwritten note on the back. Henry, you are my sunshine in the darkness. I can't believe we're going to have a little boy. Oh, it's so cute. I'm so unbelievably happy. Everything is perfect. Love you always, Deanne. Kind of sad at the same time, ha. Huh? Well... That sucks. I can't take it with me. I wanted to take it with me. Dad's computer. Dad's computer is on, but I don't know his password. Maybe I could figure it out. Really? You're going to figure out your own dad's password? I have no idea. It's probably something related to his wife or something, I'm assuming. I don't know what it is, so I'm just going to... Can I... How do I get out of it? Like, how do I... Let's cancel. There we go. That's what I was trying to do. I don't know what the password is, but, like, I'm sure that's something we will come back to at some point. Like, if we ever see a number or something like that, we'll have to remember it and make sure we can use it. Oh, can I pick this back up? Oh, guys, we can go ghost hunting again. Yes, I'm so happy with that. We got a teacup. I don't know what that's going to be for. Maybe something to do with Mr. Addison or something. Can I play this or anything? 
like, I don't think I can play it anymore. So I don't think there's any more chapters. But we can search for ghosts again. So, like, that is really awesome. I'm going to look around for ghosts at some point. That would be really cool. All right. I don't think there's anything left in Sally's room. So let's keep going. You know that door that opened on its own? We should check for ghosts in there. I bet there's something in there. Um, What room am I in? Whose house am I in? Where did I go? I don't even know. I just clicked. This is Robert's place. Oh, okay. Have we... Who's Robert? I don't even know. That picture is really... He's got some really disturbing pictures on his wall, I have to say. Oh, hello. I have never seen you before. Who are you? Yo, what up, little bud? Do, pe do people just don't mind when Sally just, like, walks into their house? <laughs> Not much. Just a typical day. That bad, eh? <laughs> How have you been? Everything is straight, my man. I can't complain. Okay. This is a bit random. How's business? Business is great. What is it that you actually do? I sell crack cocaine. Wow. At least he's honest. I guess that was very forward. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm just fucking with you, bud. When my granddad passed, he left everything to me. <laughs> he is funny. I actually believed him. <laughs> like, look at the weird photos on the wall. It's really weird. <laughs> Creeping me out. Guess he's just into metal and stuff. Whoa, was he a millionaire or something? Nah, but it was enough money to start up a little business I had brewing in the old noggin. I tripled that money within a year. From there, the company just kept growing. Now I barely do anything. Just show up once in a while to check in and do some meetings and shit. That's about it though. It's a pretty tight gig. 25 and practically retired. Oh nice. It seems like you worked hard to get there though. You better believe it. Busted my ass up until things took off. Just wish my pop was here to see my success. I bet he'd be so proud of you, man. That's a huge accomplishment not many people could pull off. Very true. Thanks, little bud. So what actually is, like, the business? Like, what actually... I was curious about what it is. I was hoping he was going to tell me, but apparently not. <laughs> What's with the safe? Oh, I totally didn't even notice that. I didn't even look over there. <laughs> I was more interested in reading what he was saying. I don't trust banks with my money or any big corporations, really. Don't you own a big corporation? Well, yeah, but that's different. That belongs to me. Okay, but I don't know if it's a good idea keeping all your money there in your room like that, but okay. Why do you live here? I mean, you could afford to live anywhere. Why live in this cheap apartment room with hardly any furniture? I got all I need right here. What do I need with a big old house filled with fancy things? Can't take that shit with you when you're dead, right? It's just extra weight, weighing you down. I like to lay low, live my life, doing what I like, go wherever, whenever, no strings attached kind of lifestyle. You feel me? Yeah, why not? Yeah, I do. I think that's cool. I don't know what I would do without my TV and video games though. <laughs> me either. It's a sad truth. I don't think I would survive. <laughs> well, you gotta do you, little bud. Everyone's different. Very true, very true. All right then, I'll see you later, dude. Nice chatting to you. Nice to, like, learn about some more neighbours and stuff. He really, like, he's got so much money and yet, like, he's got such a weird lantern going on here. Like, such weird... What a weird room. I wonder what he spends his time doing because he looks pretty bored in there, but I don't know. <laughs> All right, let's see if we could explore in some other areas. Oh, let's go into 403. Maybe we'll find something. Let's look for ghosts. Oh, here we go. Let's see if we can find a ghost. Let's see what this is. Oh, it's, it's Mrs. Sanderson again. Hello, Sal. Hey, what's up? Hey, Mrs. Sanderson. How are you? I try to keep myself busy. Otherwise, I'll lose my mind. I fear that I'll never be able to leave these dreadful walls. You still haven't seen any bright light or anything? Unfortunately, no. I don't mean to sound ungrateful though, babe. It's much more bearable here without that horrible demon running around. It's just so terribly grim, devoid of hope. It's kind of hard to explain. I'm sorry, I wish I could help more. Todd and I have been doing a lot of research, but... Hold on a moment, love. Okay. What is she doing? It kind of I kind of feel bad for her that she's just like trapped in this room here and she can't like go anywhere or do anything. Yes, right here, talking to me. Okay, sure. Yes. Okay. I understand. I will. I wonder who she's talking to. Hmm, weird. So, I meant to give something to you. 
Who were you just talking to? I apologise, sweetheart. I've got to go now. Please take care of yourself. But... Oh, is she going to leave something behind? Oh, a letter? Oh, ho, ho, mysterious. I wonder what ghost decided to uh, give us this letter. It's an envelope with my name on it. Okay, her is empty. Oh, something's trying to communicate with us, guys, but I don't know what it is. It's getting very, very mysterious now. Very weird. All right, then, let's leave this room for now. I'm very curious about what's going on there. Okay, no one lives here. I guess that's it for this floor. But before we, like, continue, because there's, like, one more floor to explore, I want to go back to floor three and check out in that room. You know that room where, like, the door opened on its own? I want to see what ghost is in here, so there's got to be something in here. For it to open like that, there's got to be something, right? Surely. I'd be really surprised if there wasn't. Aha, here we go. Let's see what's in this room. I want to know what's in here. Oh, another envelope. Oh, interesting. Is it empty again? I wonder. It's empty. Ah, oh, who's leaving these weird envelopes with nothing on them? So weird. So strange. Very strange indeed. I can't wait to find out more about this. It's going to be interesting for sure. But I'm going to stop the episode here for now. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. If you like what you see on the channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Please comment, rate and subscribe. And I hope I'll see you next time.